LSD, MDMA, TCP, and all the other letters of the alphabet. Who knows what order they go in? Probably not. <laughs> all right. Hey, welcome to I Don't Know About That with Jim Jeffries. I'm Jim Jeffries. I'm here with Kelly, Jack, and Forrest. Um, uh, I'm drunk and for a very special reason. Now, normally on the show, normally on the show, you're already, I, you're already wrong. We're not supposed to be talking about this yet. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about okay. it. Okay. Okay. Normally, <laughs> normally on the show, I don't know what the subject's going to be. We don't have a specialist today because we decide to make this alcohol, this uh, episode. <laughs> we decided to well. make this episode alcohol, right? Yeah. And we don't need a specialist for that because I'm already a specialist. Now, I don't really drink that much very often anymore. Yeah. But I, I, I basically quit. I quit it for a couple of years uh, a while ago. And then I took it back up on the Jim Jeffrey Show podcast. There's, there's, there's documented <laughs> footage. Remember. There's documented footage of that. <laughs> and uh, I stopped for another while ago. And I'm mostly a weed guy now. Uh, but you're not, you're not the expert today. No, I'm not. You're going to try and tell us everything you know. We, uh, we're going to get an alcohol expert, but... We didn't have time to get one. I also love that the plan was to get drunk during the podcast, and we're all already a little bit. No, off because the I, I thought, I'm sober. I thought, okay, I thought long and hard about this because there's no point getting drunk during the podcast and then being drunk after the podcast. No one's going to be entertained by that. That's a good point, right? So I got, I had a few drinks, five before we, <laughs> before we, before we came onto the podcast, so that I'm already drunk, so it's more entertaining. This is why now we're not going to be drunk on other podcasts, but you wait for that cocaine episode. <laughs> It's going to be a doozy. It's just okay. going to be all of us pitching business ideas the I, whole time. Okay. I tell you what, Kelly always gives me a five or a six on confidence. I'm going to get a 12. <laughs> I'm going to get a 12 on that one. So okay, what before, we're going to do before, is we're going to do the history of alcohol before, and how alcohol yeah. was invented, etc. Before we do that, let's talk about no, the week that no, was. No, now, I no, know Forrest. No, no, no. <laughs> No, Forrest is gonna get bad. I comments told you about before this. we started. I'm about I gotta to do talk this. about this. No, no. no Last no. week on the podcast, okay. there were some mistakes, <laughs> okay. and people have written to us, and they're very upset about the mistakes that have happened. Forrest now, who's sober by the way and very aggressive, <laughs> is is going to uh, is going to pipe in and tell us what the mistakes were. Forrest, first of all, I've had platform. some beer out of this beach ball, but um. <laughs> They weren't mistakes that people wrote into us. What it is, is I've tried to, on the podcast, uh, I've done this uh, probably since Olympics or the post office, was made sure I go back and ask the questions that I asked you so that the listeners can be along with us, back, you know, know what we're talking about, have some, um, you know, some like... Clarity. Uh, yeah, there you go. Can't think. Um, and I missed, I didn't get to some of the answers or Kevin didn't get to some of the answers last week. So I just wanted people to know that because people do write to us and like, Boo, even though you have Google and you can look it up, Yeah. but, um, <laughs> lunar rocks <laughs> sounds like this is such a, like a buzzkill after the beginning <laughs> lunar rocks last week, we brought back uh, to Earth. my favorite band, lunar rocks. Check <laughs> them out. <laughs> 2,200 samples weighing 842 pounds. It was how many pounds of rock, lunar rocks that we bring back. How far away is the moon? I think you said 120,000 miles, Jim. It is 238,900, so pretty close. Uh, not bad. <laughs> we'll, give it to him. we'll give it to him. And the name or the type of the rocket that was used for the Apollo missions was Saturn V. Saturn Not five. the eagle. You said the eagle. And also, I, I've <laughs> since found out that I said that the Australian guys who ran the satellite lost the spaceship. Um, my knowledge on that was from a, a fictional movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ke Kevin wrote into us and he said, while there were difficulties due to high winds with them, th and there was an actual dish down there that was used to broadcast it, the whole losing the thing yeah. was not true. No, it was not true. It was from a movie called The Dish, which I highly recommend. Um, <laughs> so good that you might quote it as fact. <laughs> it, it turns out that's not a fact. But the Ewoks did defeat the Empire. Whoa. So that's, wow. a, that's a fact. Right, so not all there. movies are fake. So, so also my special has just come out. Um, I would like to thank everyone who's uh, written me lovely messages. I think it may be my best received special. I don't know how it rated because Netflix doesn't really tell you, but for comments and everything, I obviously have my fair share of people who don't like it. Mm -hmm. the, the, the classic ones are this. Our, uh, uh, he was better when he was drunk. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll enjoy this then. <laughs> it, it, it would be weird if you anyone ever released a special and everybody agreed with it. No, it's no, just no, like no, part no, of no. the. It's part of yeah. the. And and the, and the and the professional reviews have been mixed. 
Uh, but I look. You've gotten I, good and bad. You've gotten good and bad professional. Reviews. I know my comedy. I know my comedy. I will tell you my heart of hearts. This is uh, number two or three out of my eight specials. Number two or three. I'm not going to say it's number one because I know what number one is. It's alcoholic cost, and people always say it's bad, but it's not. It's alcoholic cost. My least watched one, but this one is. I'm very very proud of this one, and I think it's. Uh, I won't say return to form as such, but I think it's a poignant special where I just tell one story and then I deviate off. Now, I'm amazed by the people who wrote to me, uh, wrote comments that were along this line. Ah, oh, he couldn't stick to his story. <laughs> As if this isn't completely planned. He, ke- he kept on forgetting where he was up to. No, that was planned. <laughs> I knew where I was up to. Uh, the other good one is like, I saw him I saw him on his last tour and it was the same material. Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah. This is it. Someone made a comment the other day on Twitter with included me and Ronnie Chang. Now, I have a lot of time for Ronnie Chang. I think he's ex- extraordinary. He's fucking He's great. fucking hysterical. He also started his comedy career in, in Australia. So I have a lot of time for Ronnie. I think he's very, good and someone said i went and saw jim jeffries and ronnie chang and then i saw their specials it was the same material all right you thicky (laughs) right you don't understand right we do the tour we do the tour right and then we record the special we don't record the special then do the tour and we don't make the comedy up as we go so if you go and see the next tour it'll be new material Right, and then I'll record it again. So pick one or the other. Either watch the special or watch the two, or you can watch both and understand what's happening. <laughs> yeah. By like, the way, I, it, I, I don't know if there's many people in the world that have seen this special more than me. Maybe maybe Whitehead or Amos or or Martindale, like the the, the opener is like maybe, but I still watched it and enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought <laughs> like, it was fucking hilarious. It, it looks different. There's a different set. Listen, it's if you like, if you all, want comedians uh, to wing it. Watch podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. That's, there's not going to happen also, on a special. Also, it's shorter than the live show, so it is different. Oh, it's short. It's short. And people go, why don't you put that joke in? You have to keep it to an hour. I kept it to an hour and five minutes just because I didn't want to take... I, there was there was a Michael Jackson joke that was much more extended that everyone wanted to hear. There was stuff about Hank going to school that people wanted to hear that I did many of those jokes on a, a Canadian TV show, so I thought they were retired. Mm-hmm. Now, I've retired all these jokes. Now, being a comic who's done the Edinburgh Festival, I think 10 times... Um, I'm pretty used to reviews and I don't take professional reviewers very seriously because, you know, it's all subjective, isn't it? You know, it doesn't matter if one person likes you or one person doesn't like you. Whenever you do comedy, I believe that the best thing to do is every comic should be their favorite comedian. I think I'm the best comic in the world. And now I know I'm not, right? I think I am because I'm doing the exact show that I want to see. And that's what comics should be doing you should be doing something that you think would entertain you and hopefully other people watch that special and then they enjoy it now so we we've had good reviews from professional reviewers bad reviews and and all that type of stuff and everything in between but there was one that Forrest sent me (laughs) that we thought we we have to speak out about we have to talk about one review now I've never done this in my whole career but this review was written by such a moron (laughs) who put so little effort into it and was so judgmental we are about to review our review yeah and and I (laughs) I want everybody to know this is a real review. This is a I real review. I know you think we're making this up when we're reading it. <laughs> this it is a real sense. person. It is from the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Yes, that's and I, the, that's, a, that's, a, that's a rag where you should be proud of your journalistic skills. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's the actual. It's probably one of the better papers in Arkansas, I, I would think, but this is, just happens to be Yeah, but somebody. one of the better papers in Arkansas yeah. is one of the worst in the country, okay. probably. We might have some listeners in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's by... A, I didn't know they had the technology in Arkansas <laughs> to be able to download this right away. <laughs> It's by a journalist. I'm using air quotes there. A journalist <laughs> named Courtney Lanning. And the title is Aussie Confuses Rants for Comedy in New Special. That's, now, I have done that. So now, she's correct about that. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah, yeah. So here is the, the one of the first lines. And d- keeping in mind, Jim Jim's special is called Intolerant. Yeah. Just remember that. Intolerant. It's called Jim Jeffries Intolerable, right off the bat. <laughs> Jim Jeffries Intolerable. She hits it wrong, which turned out to be a more fitting name than I think this comedian intended. Okay, okay. First, little of his material was tolerable. It's like, wow. First of all, you called the special Intolerable. It's called Intolerant. Yeah, yeah. Right? You can't. That's like going to see The Avengers and writing a review that goes along the lines of this. 
I watched the averages. <laughs> and they, it was pretty average. And it was average. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that this comedian named his special One Star because that's just what it was. One Star. What? What are the odds? So, right, you can't, you don't even need to read anything further in the no. article with the fact that she already has, like, got the name of the special wrong and she's supposed to be it's a in journalist. journalist. It's yeah. in print. You think she could read. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all over the place, so. Um, and then... She goes, you may recall I reviewed another Aussie comedian a few weeks back. It was Hannah, Gads Hannah Gadsby's Douglas, who you always get compared to, and she freaking slayed, and, which is fine. But then this next line is really condescending and funny. And what I wish more than anything after watching Jim Jeffries perform tonight was that I could just sit him down in the same room as her and say, hey, Hannah, this guy has potential to be funny, but he's just misfiring a lot. Can you give him a few pointers? Yeah, that, that's that's what I wish for you, this journalist, that I can make my son sit in a room with you and tell you how to spell intolerant. Um, and then she even says, I laughed a few times, you know, so it's not like she wasn't saying she didn't like it. She even said, I love the anecdotal humor about your father voting on same-sex marriage. All those stories were an A+. Plus. Um, but then... He get, but then he went into a rant about how millennials are the worst. And hey, as a millennial gal, I can't disagree. <laughs> but then has about three or four paragraphs where she disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> you she, can't disagree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah okay. then she goes on to say like, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she also has a, a, a line in here too, which um, she goes, uh, he goes, what bothered me was in his comedy special that was over an hour long. This comedian would r routinely interrupt his stories. <laughs> <laughs> He just keeps going on tangents. What's the fucking deal with that? I, I went on Netflix and was making it up yeah, as I got yeah. Which were funny. She says you were funny. But to go off on five-minute tangents, which weren't funny, Jim. Damn. Mm. She, she, she went on about, what was the bit she went on about the trans people? Yeah. So She, she said, said that I lifted a trans joke. I didn't, so it was, it I was didn't after, say it. It but, was after his transgender bit where he discussed how millennials would one day become the old bigots that I realized I'd heard this before. Dot, where? Dot, dot. Where? In an, where? Episode, in an episode of The Simpsons, Homer's dad said... <laughs> She doesn't even know Homer's dad's name. <laughs> Abe. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. He does no research at us. Like, yeah, yeah the old guy. Yeah, you know, the old bloke of the Simpsons' grandpa something. <laughs> I, Smithers? Yeah. Uh, Homer's dad said, quote, I used to be with it. Then they changed what it was. Now what I'm with isn't it. And what's it seems weird and scary to me. It'll happen to you. So I love how she's word. acting like The Simpsons hasn't predicted everything. Yeah. That's just what's happening. <laughs> word, here. word for word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a few other people. Bother. It's like I'm watching your special when I read that. <laughs> I, 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 I had a few other people bother me about like I did a, a, a bit about peanut allergies on an airplane. And then I had some people write to me and just go, Ricky Gervais. Blah, 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 blah. And then I like my heart sank. Because sometimes when you do comedy, you can do a joke and you might have heard another person's joke and it seeps into your routine or whatever like that. Right. And so I went, oh, fuck. Is this a Ricky Gervais? Joke? So. So I had to, on the night of my special, watch three hours of fucking Ricky Gervais, which who I like, right? Who I like. And I watched it. And then he said, peanut allergies on planes. And my heart sunk. And I went, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Why didn't anyone tell me that I had the same joke as Ricky Gervais? Because it's a pretty, because let's be honest, peanuts on planes, it's a fairly old trope of the old stand-up right, comedian, yeah. right? And Other then I, people can talk about it. There's yeah. about 500 Viagra jokes. There's different takes. Not that you would do a Viagra. And then, I, saying, like, and then I watched and it. And I watched it. And not one single line was the fucking same. It, it's like, how stupid do you think is a comic? You go, I'll nick that bit from Ricky Gervais, right. the mm -hmm. biggest comic in the yeah, world. Yeah, I love the <laughs> idea that you would record it on a Netflix special knowing that it was somebody else's. Just fuck yeah, off. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Then, Come on. So here, as it goes on. And, af and after I remembered that scene from The Simpsons, I realized that Jim Jeffries reminded me of uh, oh, I realized what Jim Jeffries reminded me of in his stand-up special. He reminded me of a drunk man ranting at the bar who thinks he's funnier than he actually is. Mm, eh, it's, you know, it's pretty close. That's pretty close, though, yeah. <laughs> pretty that's pretty, what this that's podcast is. For, yeah, that's the premise of this whole podcast. Yeah. podcast. <laughs> here's a, here's a, a paragraph I really love. Full disclaimer... I know stand-up comedy is hard. I've done a couple of five-minute sets. Yeah. <laughs> she wrote. Oh, okay, no. okay, okay. This is where we lose. You've done, I, I wasn't, you've done I wasn't, a couple of five-minute sets. I've written a couple of columns. <laughs> That's right. I, used have, I, I, I used to have a column in a magazine in Britain. I'm. Oh, actually, really? I've yeah, probably yeah, yeah. been paid more as a journalist than her. But and I'll tell you what I always did. I got the title of the project right. <laughs> 
Um, and she goes, I, I wasn't perfect, and Jim Jeffries isn't definitely is definitely more skilled than I am. That's nice of caveat. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. Thanks for oh, throwing yeah. him nice. a bone. Thank you, Arkansas. <laughs> here's here's another term she doesn't know from her two stand up sets. He has great timing and his motions are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Whee! My emotions are hilarious. Every time I have sex with my girlfriend, she goes, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, as I said, the potential to be funny is clearly there, which is so condescending. <laughs> oh, I want 10 I, specials. or t- Yeah, I don't know if you know this about me. I'm close to retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think about it on Way a daily too- basis. COVID has taught me that I'm okay with this. Right? And now yeah. my, I'm just reaching my potential. This sucks dicks. Wait. Wait till you get funny, then retire. Okay. <laughs> this the man, the man. He it's very very flippant when she goes the man and this guy the whole time. The man just needs to cut out about eighty nine percent of his rants and stick to anecdotes. I don't know where eighty nine. Like she got a calculator out and got. A also, she clearly right. doesn't know that his brand is rants. Like every yeah. every time you do a rant, people no, are like more 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 of that. Uh, my next special is going to be called Eleven Percent Funny. <laughs> <laughs> that actually would be fucking hilarious. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, oh, wait. A lot of dead air. Wow. No, no, no. I'm wow. just, yeah. Louis, I'm cut gonna this a, out. Louis, cut I'm going to write a review about Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> Reads late. very slowly. He should meet up with another reader and give him uh, advice. Uh, no, because I, I wanted to get to the highlight. Okay. Yeah. At one point in the special, Jeffries just seemed to have a need to waste five minutes of his stand-up complaining about people who have complained about some of his past jokes. Hey, we're doing that again. <laughs> we're doing that again. <laughs> It, Bit of a trend. It, it, it came off as evidence of Jeffries having thin skin. When you need to take five minutes of your special to rant about people who have ranted about you, it seems petty. Like you have you have to have the last word. Well, mm-hmm. let's see if if we can have the last word and you don't need it either. I would bet right now that you have a very thin skin and you are going to do a retort to this podcast. Ooh. Let's let's take the her. bait, don't take the bait, or sit back in fucking Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. Um Acknowledging problematic humor before committing problematic humor isn't brilliant writing, Jim. That just makes you an edgelord. Oof. Jeffries went from joking about Michael Sorry, Jackson Jim. having sex with children to making fun of a woman with Parkinson's disease. Jesus Christ, man, burn some f- puppies on stage and see if it makes the audience laugh. You should try that. I would if I could. Yeah. <laughs> but those fucking pe- those Peter people. Mm. I, had a pu- ruthless. I had a puppy jacket for a while. I never heard the end of it. <laughs> I, I, uh, okay. So, um, and then, and then, uh, <laughs> The 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 stand up. This is the end of it, by the way. There's there's some other stuff. It's in the Arkansas Gazette. Now, now we. I no, 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 no. The last we got to We got to There's a very important thing at the end. At the very end, she doubles down again on her ignorance. I would say the stand up special really shouldn't have been called intolerable. Wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it should have been titled "The Things That Annoy Me" tour. What? It's not even a tour. Okay. It's a special. <laughs> this is the thing. I hate when people do that. What do you think stand up comedy is built on? Things we like. Yeah. Do you yeah. Want, do you want to watch a tour of going? I love my wife. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. My kids are great, and I went on a great holiday. Yeah. Special. Yeah. It's four, and then four here, and a half seconds. Here's the last thing. After the special concluded, I wanted to pull Jim Jeffries aside while standing six feet away. She's responsible and ask who hurt you. Okay. If you want to pull me aside and ask me who hurt me, you don't have the time. <laughs> That's gonna take fucking weeks to go through all that. So as of today, there are still zero comments on this article. So it's now, not, now, not now, getting a lot of I know, I, I, know I know what we're doing, talking about this seems petty, but and there's been worse reviews. It's funny. There has been worse reviews of this special, worse reviews <laughs> of people who really, really hated it. She at times says that she actually enjoyed it, which I appreciate. It, That's yeah. fine. She says, I'm funny. And there's been people who have hated my special way more. But I have never in my life seen worse writing yeah. than this person. The, the people at the Arkansas Democrat fucking... Okay, fuck you people. You have no job. You work at the fucking Arkansas Nothing Gazette. But who are you hiring? Just a homeless person? Yeah, well, <laughs> so that's good. So go make sure you watch Jim Jeffries' Intolerable special on Netflix. <laughs> and, and watch Just her- search Intolerable. And you'll find it. Yeah. Intolerable. Yeah. All right. All right. So alcohol. Let's get to the podcast here. All right. Oh, I, uh, feel so, I feel so petty after all that. Why? Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't like, I, it just has to be pointed out. Like once in a while you have to point something out. The fact that she even said the name of your special again at the end without like, 
And that means nobody read it there. Everyone's like, she handed it in and she's like, yeah, yeah, it looks good to me. Like, there's the, the no only, proofreading the only, going on there. The only I reason know. I see this is because my PR is nice enough to send me all my reviews. Yeah. They send them all to you and they're like, here you go. Here's all the reviews of your show. And then it's, it's basically like something to work on. Oh, <laughs> All right, so let's All get right. going. I'm sweating. There's room as for I'm going to be sweating the whole now, time. Now, as we said, we're doing something on alcohol. We're already drunk. Um, yeah, there's, well, no, I, there's no judging a book by its cover. But we know what the we don't. Uh, we have no specialist. We're going to do the history of alcohol, how it's made, what it does. Um, and Kelly and I have looked up stuff, and that's oh no, we're not. Expert. We're not gonna. We're not gonna just win it. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no. I'm just saying. No, no. I'm just saying. But right, also, right, yeah, when, right. when you guys want to write in and tell us we're wrong about shit, we probably know. So yeah, leave us alone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're, so we're going to do alcohol, or as the lady from Ar Arkansas calls it, alcohol. <laughs> um, so Ooh. Jim is going to tell us everything he knows about alcohol. I'll, yeah. I'll prod you along with some questions, and then we're going to grade you 1 through 10. We'll grade you on accuracy. I've got all the answers here, at least for what I think they are. Kelly on confidence. I'll do et cetera. Okay, so if you get 21 through 30... Uh, you'll be, you don't know me. That's what you'll be. Hey, um, you don't know me. 11 through 20. <laughs> 11 through 20. What are you looking at, fuckface? Uh, <laughs> and zero through 10, I'm going to throw up. So uh, those are your categories. So the middle one. zero through 10 is, I didn't know that was your sister. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of different ones that could be, but. Um, so let's just start uh, uh, with when and where was alcohol discovered? Uh, I'm going to say, and I, I, I promise, even though I knew about this yesterday, I haven't looked up anything, but I will say that alcohol was like with cheese, a mistake. I believe that someone left something to ferment for too long and then they drank it and then they were wasted. And then they were like, Oh, you know what I could do with these juniper berries. Right. I'm going to say it was probably the Egyptians always did everything. So I'm going to say it was Egyptians. I'm going to say, because Jesus had wine at the Last Supper, I want to say 2000 BC was when alcohol was invented by accident or whatever. And it probably wasn't, a, it was probably a potato or a fucking berry or some honey or something like that. Because the only reason I say honey is because we did bees and I know that bees are very old. Did you not look this up? No, I didn't. No, you're, cru I, you're crushing I, I, right I, now. I, I, say, I, I swear to God. I will go back God. and go over the answers, but I'm like reading. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, I swear to God. Going, I swear to God. Uh, I've uh, been uh, studying for this my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, can you drink isopropyl alcohol? I don't know what that is. <laughs> no. I, I, ibuprofen? Isopropyl alcohol. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say no. What about ethyl alcohol? I'm going to say ethyl is the type of alcohol we drink now. I'm going to say, yes, we can drink ethyl. We can't drink ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> no ibuprofen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, why does alcohol make you drunk? Um, it, I, don't, I really don't know why, but it's a depressant and it would, uh, it would dull the brain the the what's the thing the synapses -y things the things that spike jack help me out here. the hippocampus the hippocampus in your brain <laughs> jack just came up with the first word he could no but the, to the, 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 the sense it dulls the senses so you got different types of drugs you got uppers and but, downers yeah, but how, does it, how does it make you drunk uppers and downers so uppers speed up things <laughs> your ecstasy your speed your mdma they speed things up they speed the brain cells up and alcohol slows it down. And that's why you can't drive an alcohol, but you can drive like a motherfucker on coke. <laughs> God. Okay. You were, do you were doing well. Do not do um, cocaine. Yeah. Uh, why do you get hung over? Um, because your brain is dried out like a raisin. It's not enough, it's not, it's not enough water. So your brain, your brain is, is, sits in a body of water. And then when you're drunk, your alcohol dries you out. And it takes away all the water and your brain becomes like a raisin. Yeah. It's you're I mean, you know, I don't think you're exactly right, but you're pretty close. Actually. Yeah, so, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. And at least yeah. sounds good. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, like okay. this is one of those if you're in a bar, you would believe them. Yeah, it's a dry it's a it's a pruned up brain. <laughs> do you do you, um blood alcohol content? 
Uh, let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, so that's the amount of alcohol that's in your blood and that's content at the time. And, it's, <laughs> and so, 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 so it's point uh, zero five means. Well, wait, wait, just so that that's the amount of alcohol in your blood. Yeah, so point zero point zero point zero five is drunk and upwards, right? That's what you can drive on. Now I, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you percentages. Point zero six yeah. or point zero seven here in America and in Australia. Point zero nine. So, so it's point zero nine. I think in it's Australia, it's point zero five. In Britain, it's point zero five. So you can have two drinks in the UK and you can have three to four here in America. 0.05. Which is weird because the age of consent is lower and all that sort of stuff. And then you're all liberal about alcohol. Well done, America. Um, okay, so America. the you, so you say, how many drinks is it till you get um, a blood alcohol of like 0.05? Um, or how often? So, so you're me, allowed, you're allowed how, two, how, two drinks in the first hour and one drink every hour after that. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a fun story. I'll tell you a fun story. In Australia, when you say light beer, that means low alcohol beer, right? So it'd be 0.2% alcohol. Now, a normal beer is 0.4, 0.49, and going up to a Stella, right? So 0.2 is a, what they call a light beer. Now, a light beer in America means low carb, like a Bud Light or, a, or whatever light, Amstel Light, is a, is a low carb beer. And like low calorie. Low calorie beer. But you don't have light beer. You don't have half alcohol beer here. You probably do, but it's not popular. In Australia, it's very popular. We have you'll Heineken have, zero. You'll, no, but that's zero, that's, that's zero <laughs> alcohol, right? So in Australia, you'd have the two taps. You'd have the two is dry, two is dry light, Foster's in, you know. So, so when I moved to America, because you can drink about eight light beers and still drive. There's no problem because it's 0.2. Right. So what happened was when I moved to America, I would go to the comedy store and have about nine Bud Lights thinking I was fine. And then I'd drive home. Oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't Whoopsie know. Crazy. No one told me your special fucking graphs that you have. Now, we have a, we, <laughs> pe people listen to this show in Australia and you'll know this. Light beer means low alcohol. Over here, it just means low carb. Okay. So percentages. Yeah. Um, if your blood alcohol content is a uh, concentration, sorry, mm. I said content earlier, so I did mess yeah. up. So concentration is zero point zero two percent. This is the lowest level of intoxication. So, yeah. so then you can be, So you said point zero five. Yeah. With Britain and, and then point zero eight is the U.S. Yeah. So what happens now? These are like I'm going to give you other percentages. What happens? Like what? Uh, for, before I do that, what are some side effects from the increased uh, blood alcohol concentration? Um, like, name me. I've got a more, list of more, one, two, three, four, five. Six. I've got eight here. Give me four. More confidence. <laughs> uh, being being able to. I love how that's like side yeah, effects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You said that very confidently. Yeah. <laughs> be, <laughs> be, being able to pull women. Pull women. Yeah. Okay. Pull women is one of, the, one of the side about, effects. Or pull men. Uh, Can we go either yeah, way? Yeah. Wake up in the morning and not knowing who that woman is. That's another <laughs> okay. side effect. These sound more like benefits than side effects. Um, <laughs> uh, side effects is you slow your speech. Slurred. Slow your speech. Uh, you become more forgetful. You could black out. Um, I won't remember this podcast. Uh, <laughs> uh, st are you staggering? Um, uh, people, pe people become more attractive. You become more attractive. These to are people. not side effects. <laughs> Side effects to your body. That happens, yeah. Oh, uh, da damage to the liver. <laughs> have you ever heard of medicine? Like, a, this high cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, I'll take this medic. You're going to be really confident <laughs> afterwards. Side effects is you may become more attractive. You might pull some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. got, please talk to your doctor before you pull the seat. I got I got malaria and had a threesome. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's move on. So um, percentages. All right. So point zero eight. We said is America. That's your um, the legal limit. I'll tell you what though. Threesomes is a side effect. No one's ever had one of them sober. No one's convinced two people to have sex with them and all get along sober. Okay. Side effect. Threesomes. Threesomes. Um, so when once your al blood alcohol uh, concentration reaches 0.15 percent, what would you what what would be some things that would happen then? You'd lose your driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> what if you were just walking around? Oh, um, if you're just walking around, um, the cops will get upset with you. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you mean if you're just walking around? You might shit yourself. All right, let's move on. Okay, so <laughs> at what percentage, like point, so point zero eight is the legal limit. At what percentage do blackouts usually occur? All right, 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> 
9 p.m. or blackouts? Well, it depends on when you start. Okay. And then at what percent? Today it'll be 9 p.m. At what percentage <laughs> should you worry about dying? Um, it'll be 11 p.m. No, no, I think, <laughs> okay. I think I think if you have, I always feel like I black out at half a bottle of vodka. We're back to eating on the podcast, by the way. I'm sure everybody's. I, <laughs> I black everybody out. Everybody loves it. I black out at half a bottle of vodka, so I'm going to say you'll die at a full bottle of vodka. A liter of vodka will kill you. Uh, no, I've done okay, that. Okay, but that's not blood alcohol concentration. Not so every time. Point zero eight percent <laughs> is is legal limit for driving. When would you die? What's the percent? Point what? What's the, what's the driving? Point zero, point zero, eight. zero eight. Yeah. I think you die at three. Mm, okay. No, 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 no. It's point zero eight. No, because it's got to go to 100, so isn't it? Point three? Um, oh, no, that would be less. Don't be silly, Jack. What? No, it's, um, it doesn't go to 100, but your, your, your blood will never be 100% alcohol. You'll definitely be dead then. Yeah, so I'm going to go. A, a fraction of a percent. Is your I'm going to go three. Three, three so percent? Po- point three. Point three percent. Okay. Point three percent. Not zero point eight. Okay. Point three percent. Does okay, food yeah. affect how quickly you get drunk? Like if you eat more food, does? Oh does no, that- I've I've been point three because they used to have breathalyzers in the bars in Australia, which were meant to be there for you to breathe into, yeah. to to fucking like whether you could drive or not. And then everyone took the situation a bit silly, and we all had competitions. Yeah. And I got to three. Yep. I got to three, so I'm gonna say. Well, you're a different breed, though. You've been training for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna say ten. 10 point ten percent yeah it's ten percent okay we'll kill you you're all over the place yeah. all right so you're definitely th- here here's some I'm a beer jack here's some things uh, that may or may not be okay. true yeah, about free. drinking uh if you eat food before you drink um you it will lessen the effects of alcohol yeah I believe that's a fact because whenever I have an empty stomach I get drunk faster okay what about bubbly alcohol? Sometimes people drink champagne or something they reckon like- champagne goes to your head a lot quicker and you'll get drunker if you drink it with a straw Okay. So yeah. And do women get drunker faster? Drunker faster than men? Yes, they do because their body mass is smaller. Okay. You crush, all, all you crush that section. To say that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, how many people die of alcohol-related deaths per year in the U.S. and then in the world? Well, it's three hundred thirty million Americans. Like we're talking about long-term alcoholism or just a bin, uh, a alcohol-related bin. deaths. So that could be anything from health issues, driving, you know, drunk drivers. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, two million people a year in America. Two million? No. Yeah. Okay. You could tell by my voice you were wrong. <laughs> 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 what, uh, what about world deaths? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, okay. But if, if you said what to that, I'm going to say 2.1 million worldwide. <laughs> 2.1 one million. Oh, that's a, only a thousand diamonds. US has a lot of. We have a problem in the US. Uh, does alcohol have any health benefits? I wish it did. Yeah. Because wouldn't it be good to have like because weed, God bless it. Mm-hmm. You can say it's medical. Medical marijuana, it, heroin can be medical. So wait, but yes or no? No, it, it it, no doctor has ever written down. Uh, should I have a few more drinks, right? So I'm going to say no, but then there's the things okay. where they believe that red wine has oxidants in it, but I don't believe that's the alcohol that's helping you. I believe it's other things in the grapes. So I'm going to say no with a caveat that grapes. there are, there is grapes. There's fruit juice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your daily okay. Um, let's talk about different types of alcohol now. Mm-hmm. Rum. What is rum made from and where is it primarily made? Like where, where, what region of the world is it? Rum is a sugar based. Um, oh, hold on, I gotta finish the pretzel stick. Stop eating pretzels. <laughs> Remember, we made you stop eating on the podcast because you, you would eat like burgers. You yeah, gave, this is like a palate cleanser for when you're doing the taste test. You gave me a bucket of pretzels. What did <laughs> you think <laughs> was gonna happen? <laughs> I know, but you can't be like, blah, blah, blah. like this is gonna be a great podcast. <laughs> this is on <laughs> you, Forrest. <laughs> Is, yeah, um, no to be pretzel. fair, this is rum, your fault. Pretzels are your idea. Rum I is, know, but I didn't say eat them while you're talking on the podcast. What were they for then? <laughs> Don't be talking while you're eating them. It's disgusting. No one um, wants to hear it. So rum is <laughs> rum because they make Bundaberg rum in Australia, and Bundaberg is a Queensland town where they grow a lot of sugar cane. It's a sugar cane based product, mm-hmm. uh, and they make a lot of rum in the West Indies. And stuff like that. I'm going to say it's a strictly uh, sugar-based dark liquor. Okay. What about tequila? What is tequila made from? Where is it? Where is it? Tequila is made by the agave plant, which is a cactus. It's basically cactus juice, and it's from Mexico. Mexico. Okay. And is there a specific area in Mexico it's made? or The middle. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not technically wrong. but uh, um, And mezcal? It's also made in Mexico. 
What is it made from? Oh, it's made from the same cactus plant, but it's a bit more smoky. Uh. It's it's if you are uh... now perfect. <laughs> Great podcast. It's, it's 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 if you it's if you put all the cactus leaves under a blanket with a bit of fire. <laughs> That's how, you, that's how you get mescal. Under a blanket. Okay. It seems <laughs> safe. Leaves. Doesn't seem like there's any fire hazard there at all. No, it's like when you put pigs on the ground in Honolulu. <laughs> what? Are you talking about pigs in a blanket the breakfast? No, when you like put beer? pig. Uh, when you cook a pig under the ground. Oh, pork. No, not pork. Uh, yeah, that's pig. what pig is. No, you know, but when you make a pig a suckling pig and they make a fire pit and they bury it to cook it, right, in a luau. That's what they do with the cactuses for okay. Mescal. Vodka. What is vodka made from? Vodka is made from the Russians and it is just <laughs> and it is just, just it can be it's made, made out of it's made, <laughs> it's made out of several things, but but prominently vodka is made out of the potato. Okay. Uh, and gin. Gin is vodka that has juniper berries added to it. Okay. Mm. Hmm. All right. How about whiskey? What's the difference between whiskey, bourbon, and scotch? Oh, I remember the scotch tasting we had at work. Uh, um, Why yeah, you we use were that all voice? shit. Whis- yeah, yeah, yeah. Whiskey involves barley. Well, it's beer, isn't it? <laughs> uh, whiskey involves. No, I'm going to still say barley. Now, scotch comes from Scotland. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Bourbon is a sweet version of whiskey. Whiskey is American, scotch is British. And bourbon, like Jim Beam, and then like the hybrid, which is Jack Daniels, is a sweeter version. It has more sugars added to it uh-huh. to make uh, those two drinks. Where's that from, bourbon? Uh, bourbon is from Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, okay. yeah Jim Beam, uh, Jack Daniels from Tennessee. From Lynchburg, Tennessee is Jack Daniels. And then a liqueur or a cordial, what is that? A liqueur is a spirit that has been flavoured with things okay. to make it more fancy. It's for the lady folk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> lady folk. All right. That's the, the exact definition. Uh, how many different types of wines are there? Like there's five basic kinds of wines. Can you name red any, wine. any of them? Okay. Nice. White wine. Nice. Do you, want, do you want the things in between? I said five different kinds, five so different you figure it out. Right. Yeah. Red wine. White wine. Yeah. Dessert wine. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, like that pinkish sort of one, the rosé wine, uh-huh. rosé wine, okay. and then I'm gonna say uh, a dark and stormy type of wine, like a, a brown, a brown wine, Stormy Daniels. Got it. Um, and then how many different brands? Like how many different brands of wine are there, and how many different vineyards? Uh, let's say, yeah, let's say how many different brands? I'm gonna say there's over. Two and a half thousand brands of wine. Now, if you come in with eighty thousand, I'm still correct. Okay, it's over. Yeah, over yeah. two and a half thousand. <laughs> two, two, two and a half thousand. I see what you're doing there. Spare types smart. of wine. When I say brand, I mean like there would be a vineyard, but they might have eight different kinds of wine. Yeah, no, no. I'm going to say two hundred and two thousand five hundred different brands. That, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck. I damn it. Does yeah. That. And then, um, and then, how many, how many vineyards do you think? Times that by eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great podcast, burping and eating. So, uh, And then what are the four main ingredients of beer? Water. Yeah. Nailed barley. It. Love and passion. <laughs> okay, water and barley. And that's what Bud Light is made of. Yeah, no, I, I think it's water, Bud. There'd be some type of yeast in there. I'm mm-hmm. going to say yeast, water, barley, and hops. Hops. That nice. malt. What's the malt? Nice. What's the malt? Shut up, Jack. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think that's good. I think I think we can stop here. I think, How did I, yeah. I think I did all right. Um I you did okay. You did yeah, you I, did really good actually. I think I'm gonna give you like a, a an eight. It's or a almost nine. like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow you know it. When you were like working as a bartender, did you like Read stuff. About- I used to be a bartender, and I used to actually order in drinks and stuff like that. And I, at one stage, for about a week of my life, I brewed beer in my bathtub, and I've tried other different spirits and that. But I, I, I didn't read. I swear to God, I didn't read. Wait, up you brewed it in your bathtub? I just like 
I did like Lost I did a... some distilling stuff in me house in your bathtub. I did. I had a distilling machine. Which you weren't like, in prison. Why no, I had like, like I had like, like a barrel, but then I would cap them and put them all all the bottles in my bathtub, and then some of them would explode. Wow. I, okay. And then I thought I could just buy beer at a reasonable yeah. price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when you when effort. you're 18, you think, oh, this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, you didn't want to ask him about prohibition at all. Oh, yeah. What's up with Prohibition? Thanks. <laughs> prohibition was they tried to ban alcohol here in America for a very little while. And that was actually the rise of the mafia in Chicago because they were moving alcohol in Al Capone. Al Capone started giving everyone alcohol and the mafia actually rose, to higher, rose to higher levels than it would have if they didn't have Prohibition. So there's two amendments in the Constitution one that's for prohibition, and then one that's actually taking prohibition out. But it, so we're the only. This is the only country with prohibition. I'm sure. Well, no, no. You got Saudi Arabia, which has no alcohol. You got Arab countries that has no alcohol. But I would say this is only, and I, I, I hate to say this, the only first world country. Not that you other countries aren't first world, but come on. What about Australia? Has there been prohibition? No, no prohibition in Australia. Never. No. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm think? fucking sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm fucking sure. And I know you little smarmy. You don't know me. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says right here that the Australian Capital Territory, then the Federal Capital Territory, was the first jurisdiction in Australia to have prohibition laws in 1911. King Whoops O'Malley. Yeah, but you're Home taking Affairs, that off the uh, fucking... Uh, you're taking that off the internet. Yeah. Yeah, my, just trust Jim. Uh, my special's called intolerant. It's not intolerable. intolerable. Okay. <laughs> you can't believe what you read. Um, okay, so I, I'm, an, I'm still going to give you an eight on this for accuracy. And then, Kelly, what about for confidence? Uh, I would go confidence in eight as well. All yeah, right. et cetera. I'm going to give you a nine. Wow. Just wow. because he's been drinking uh, a lot. The before. highest score we've yeah. ever had. So that, you know beep, what that beep, means. Beep. What it, <laughs> so you scored a, uh, what are the 2016 plus nine, 25. You don't know me. That's you. I yeah. should I should be no, drunk me. for every podcast. This mm. is when the truth comes out. <laughs> I've been holding back on those other ones. I'll tell you about fucking bees if you want to know about fucking bees. <laughs> I did get to use my bee knowledge yesterday. Whitney Cummings was posting on her Instagram stories about bees. She's like, can bees even be trained? And I texted her. I was like, actually, they can be trained <laughs> to sniff drugs and bombs. She's like, what? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I felt really did you send hey, a link? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Whitney, thanks for listening to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so the first question was, when and where was alcohol first discovered? Now, there's like, when you try to look this up, it's like all over the map. Yeah. It's like it's like cause, because there's like they're always like oh well, they found traces of something in a, a clay things, pot or things something. Things can yeah. ferment by accident. Yeah. You can so, leave orange juice in the fridge for too no, long. No, so you're 100 percent right. So it wasn't that somebody picked up something that was fermented and drank it, but it was like animals and besides humans have been eating fermented fruits for years, like just fruits that would fall on the ground and ferment. If you have a fruit tree or something and it falls down, it starts to ferment. Like, you know, animals, like wild animals would eat that and get drunk, you know, and and same thing with humans. So that's been going on forever. Um, But then, uh, so when you said Egypt, like, and this is just something that I have that, that, you know, there was, like I said, there was a whole bunch of different things. And I'm not an expert. Let's just make that clear. But fermented beverages existed in the early Egyptian civilization. And there's evidence of an early alcoholic drink in China around 7000 B.C., um, oh, I was it, way old. I was 5,000 BC. No, but oh. Egypt, it says between 3,000 and 2,000 BC. And then yeah. it said, and they said they would probably use honey. Hey! Like that. Yeah, so that's <laughs> I said the honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also in Greece, 2700 BC, it was one of the first alcoholic beverages to gain popularity. It was mead. Yeah, that you always read about oh, that, yeah, like in Beowulf and yeah. shit. It's always yeah. there. It's always in like an old like yeah. uh, Lynx type of video I, game. We I don't buy know if some Beowulf. Mead. Actually, I, I said Beowulf. Uh, it, <laughs> honestly, I wasn't going to question that yeah. at all. It sounded completely accurate. Um, so, so I wasn't too far. Two thousand was a fair answer. Yeah, Greek and honey. Liter- Greek literature is yeah. full of warnings against excessive drinking, and then um, in the medieval Arabs used the distillation process extensively, and there's evidence that they distilled alcohol. So they were they might have been the first ones. Um, and then maybe in Italy in the 12th century where distillation became a thing and in China in the 12th century. So, you know, they didn't have the internet back then. They didn't have phones and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, documentary. So it's kind of like who I'll, did what first. But I'll, I'll tell you what, you needed alcohol with the Egyptians because you couldn't fuck a bird who was wearing one of those headdresses with the little pointy beard things on top of it. <laughs> 
I don't think that was the women. That's when they were dead. They put them in those. I'll tell you this. this. (laughs) Yeah, and you couldn't fuck that Uh, without alcohol. We we (laughs) we talked about this before. There was no sexy post office worker for for Halloween. We did have some. Oh yeah, not for Halloween. Correct. No, no sexy Egyptians. So no, there totally are sexy Egyptians. Sexy Egyptian Halloween. Are you fucking kidding? Maybe back when the Bengals were around singing their song. Sexy. Egyptian. Yeah. While you're looking that up, I'll just say that distillation probably occurred in the 12th <laughs> century and 14th century, 13th century. It's all different countries. China, uh, the Middle East, um, Italy, Germany, um, all these areas like we're starting to distill alcohol, which is closer to like what we have now when it's like, so you're not just drinking a 55 day old glass of nasty grapes or something. Who was the first person to figure out, oh, this is all right. Okay, you proved me wrong. They're sexy Egyptians. Yeah. Now, who, who, who was the first person to figure out the, the effects of alcohol? Like it would make you drunk and all that type of stuff. Like, I, well, I'm immediately, sure as soon as they did it. That's yeah. why people were like, somebody was like really hungry, ate like a rotten apple on the ground or something. And they got, they were like, this makes me feel good. And then they had to convince somebody else. Like, hey, try this rotten apple. Imagine and they're like, trust the, me. The first yeah. person that does that though. And then wanting to do it like I would immediately assume that I was about to die if I didn't know the effects of alcohol the, and that's the, not what I was The playing. first person to go, this rotten apple saved my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> or now this- I can fuck my wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or this, oh, yeah. My marriage has been ruined by all these rotten apples. It goes both ways, alcohol. <laughs> it gives with one hand and it takes with the other. Okay, so now I want to make it very clear. Do not drink isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is what would be in your medicine cabinet in your bathroom. That that clear alcohol. So you were that, right about that. Yeah, you I don't drink don't, it. It's for medicinal uses for like cleaning wounds, things like that, antiseptic. Um, I do believe that people have tried to drink it that are alcoholics because I've tried. Oh, you have? I tried to like pure alcohol, like like no, no, no. They, the stuff in your cabinet. The stuff that they put like, like hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, the stuff that they put like no. animals in to keep them like that's formaldehyde. Yeah, I've tried that. That's, no, don't do that. I tried like pure alcohol, like rubbing alcohol when I was a no, kid. No, but formaldehyde is is terrible. You should. Well, you, 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 you might be stuff, dead if you tried to drink stuff that you rub on a cut. Al- that's isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, I've tried that with me mates just to see how much. I, yeah, a little sip, like half. A, you could die quarter. from that. We didn't. Okay. Well, I would just say don't Did you pass. Get drunk? Quarter of a shot. No, no. Just now it's stupid it's, behavior. It's, it's gonna okay. So ethyl alcohol. You were exactly correct on that. That is the stuff that we drink, not ibuprofen, as you said. Um, so everything that's on this table right here is ethyl alcohol, um, you know, in different different versions. And now like they got to give it a new name, like Cindy alcohol, because yeah. ethyl sounds like <laughs> ethyl sounds like an old woman. You don't want to drink from her. Got up. Oh, there's Agnes alcohol. <laughs> oh, Mavis alcohol has come in. Gertrude. Who wants he, uh, Ethel's come to the party? Oh, she's gonna fucking knit us a quilt. Yeah. Okay. So why do you get hungover? So there's a bunch of different like you can go into a lot of details on why you get hungover when you don't, but. The main thing is, is that um, the, uh, oh, wait, this is the hungover. I'm sorry. What makes you drunk? That's what I was like. What makes you drunk? You said dulls the brain, hippocampus, uppers, downers. You This is where you lost a point, in my opinion. No, you I didn't get a solid lose a point. It, it, it dries your brain out like a prune. No, your alcohol, the body, your body sees alcohol as a poison. It can't store it. So it wants, I'm reading this thought. So it, it wants to break it down and get rid of it. So this is where your liver comes in. The liver converts alcohol into a number of different chemicals to allow your body to break it down and get rid of it. Enzymes do this. So uh, the liver uses these enzymes um, and called uh, alcohol dehydrogenase. This yep, cunt's sorry. ruining my buzz. Man. To convert to alcohol. <laughs> Basically, though, um, it, 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 when you when your body will process this, but if you drink too much, well, that's when you keep drinking. Your body can't process it fast enough, and then um, what happens is is that your body it, it it just runs through your blood, like courses through your blood, like that with the blood alcohol concentration. I had an, I had enlarged liver for a yeah. small amount of my life. I had enlarged liver because I was drinking too much, and this is like. 14 years ago or something, I was at the Edinburgh Festival and I drank solidly for a month and I went to the doctor. I do a routine on this where the doctor pulls me in. I was starting to turn yellow in my skin and the doctor goes, oh, you have an enlarged liver. And I said, well, that's good because I drink a shitload of alcohol. <laughs> that'll, that'll come in handy. Supposedly celery juice. That's what my roommate is drinking celery juice right now. It helps your liver. Yeah, I'd, ha- I'd half a liver juice. at one point. 
Half a liver? Yeah. Where'd you, mm. where'd you load it out? Well, it, no, it, was, I, it was in a freezer. It was yeah. an ex-boyfriend. No. It, well, it's because it's I overdosed on pills. And so it destroyed uh, half my liver. But so now look at me. I'm fine. Wait, did it grow back? Like, is, yeah. it, is it like, not grow back? Did it, uh, it heal it, itself? It like regenerated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like Wolverine. Er, er, everything's back to normal, except she used to be called Brian. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you, half a liver and a half with, a dick. With the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got one more than me. <laughs> with the hangover, you were right. You get dehydrated is one of the reasons. There's a couple other reasons that you get a hangover. But, I'm, um, you, you know, your brain isn't really floating in water, but I'm going to give it to you. But, uh, yeah, dehydration is what you I, ne- I, ne- I never got a hangover until I was 30, and now, now they're horrendous. And that's why I hardly drink anymore. I hardly drink anymore. This yeah, is- I remember college. We used to black out, like, every night, never have a hangover, never have an issue. And now I'm like, oh, man, if I have four glasses of wine today, tomorrow's going to be brutal. So I'm it is being old. And I did not mention this. It Sorry, is true man. that if you drink a clear liquid versus a, a, like a darker liquid, you get less of a hangover because there's something called cogeners or cogeners. I, I don't I know. I never know how to say that. that. Is, yeah. is, there, is there a problem with mixing drinks? Because I've always been a mixing drink person. Because people go, don't, that, it, don't the, mix your drinks. Because what I do is I start out with beers, I get full, and then I go, oh, give me the vodka. <laughs> and then I get onto the vodka. And then it's like, Forrest, Forrest is like, when me and Forrest first met, we weren't good people. <laughs> And Forrest introduced me to tequila on a big level because Forrest is tequila man. Yeah. Like if he had a superhero thing, it would have a tea on his fucking I can drink chest. a lot of tequila. He drinks a lot of tequila. And Forrest used, I used to go, what do you want to drink? And Forrest was like, meh, meh, tequila and ice, meh, like that. that, that right? <laughs> and that's what, tequila, that's what Forrest would drink all the time. The first, first, I think it was the first night I ever met you. It was Miami Improv. Mm. And it, we were with Al Jackson. It was me, yeah. you, and Al Jackson on the same Love show. Al Jackson. And um, you had just done your special. Al had done warm-up. And yeah. so, like, but, like, randomly, we all, like, worked together. So, and then we went to this bar. It was on Bar Rescue. It was, it was called the Sam Bar. I don't know what it's Shout called Shout out now. to Katie Dirks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we went over there, and there was two funny things that happened. That was, we, we, ended, we ended up drinking a lot. Al Jackson had been in West Virginia for a week or something, and he was used to West Virginia drink prices for some reason. And now we're in Miami, yeah. and like we ordered like like three shots and three beers, and it was like it wasn't even that bad. It was like twenty four dollars or something. I think I and was started, paying for it. And he complained. Yeah, he started yelling at the bartender. It's like, "You kidding me? Like what the price?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like that's a good price." And Six he, drinks and for twenty four dollars. And then he realized he had been like it was like West Virginia somewhere where like yeah. drinks were like a dollar. And yeah. He was like, yeah. <laughs> and then the other. So this is the first night. I'd, I'd ever met Jim and I already knew your tell of how when you drank too much and you might get sick is you'd start spitting, but like dry spitting. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so I was just talking just... to you and you're like, anyways, dad. And then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot, I get a lot of yeah, bile. You start, yeah, you start... My stomach does it. I get a lot of bile and I just start yeah, spitting yeah. up to the edge. Yeah, but I didn't even know you were just like in the middle of the conversation. You're like, Look this <laughs> and then you're like, I'll be right back. And then you went to the bathroom. I'm like, I think he's going to throw up. In, 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 in 1999, I went to Oktoberfest in Germany and I drank so much. And I was what month? Just, uh, October. Okay. And I was fucking hammered. And I was drinking beer after beer after beer after beer. And I was talking to a girl and I was about to close the deal. And this is how drunk I was. I, I knew I had drunk too much. So I leant off to my left. She was standing to my right. I leant off to my left. Vomited under the table. Thought I'd pulled it off. <laughs> Thought I'd pulled it off. Went back and continued the conversation. Like, and so you're you're American. <laughs> Do you have a mint? There's <laughs> just like dribble coming down your face. Oh, gross. Anyway, we had sex, and uh, yeah. and, and, and that's how Hank was born. <laughs> oh, sweet. You should uh, record that. Um, oh, we did. Okay, so uh, BAC, otherwise known as blood alcohol concentration. I said content. Um, that's when your blood alcohol is content. <laughs> it's content. <laughs> it's happy with who is. content at this level. Yeah, this is how drunk I feel. It doesn't try to be anybody that it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's when your blood reds out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's the metric used to measure uh, the alcohol content in a person's bloodstream. And um, yeah, you had it right. So uh, after you, it's, they say one drink per hour, which would be a 12 ounce beer, an eight ounce malt liquor, five ounces of wine or one and a half ounces of hard liquor. You're supposed to consume one an hour. Anything after that, um, you're probably getting intoxicated at a level that would be illegal to be operating um, your car. And oh, here, here's a list of, of, of side effects. <laughs> Surprisingly, most of yours aren't on here. Uh, three <laughs> right, right, right. Ladies, yeah, ladies, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we have to do a pause right now because I have to have a piss. <laughs> okay. We'll be back in a second. 
And we're back from my piss. <laughs> While I was having the piss, I had to think to myself, and I want to get this point across very quickly before we carry on. I've never trusted a person who didn't drink. I don't mind if you're an alcoholic who's given it up, but every time Donald Trump does not drink. Never oh, wait, wait, so you could have drank and then now you Yeah, you, you can, can you can be a drunk and give drinking up. Mm -hmm. But if you're one of these cunts who have never had a drink, I don't fucking trust you. Every single I'm not gonna name names, but every single uh me too rapey comic that I've ever met hasn't drunk. They're always never a drinker. They're always showing up to party. What are you doing out? <laughs> Why are you out? Stay home. That's Donald Trump, always at the Miss American contest, not fucking drinking. You know who else wasn't a drinker? Who wants to enjoy anyone's company without a fucking drink? What type of psychopath wants to enjoy a conversation with a stranger if you're not drunk? That's my question. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was not never a had a drink. drink. Never drink. Never had a uh, drink. Church, a Churchill, drunk every yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All these people who are fucking miserable. It's like just have a drink. You'll loosen up, man. Yeah. Fuck. No. We need I, to get Trump drunk. I have a, I have a lot of love for drinkers. I have a lot of love for previous alcoholics or alcoholics, but I don't trust. I've never trusted a person who's never, who has never had a drink yeah, in their life. Same. They're always sneaky little fucks. You got to try it. And they're just pretentious. Like sushi. They're always oh, pretentious. Get in there. And it's just like, while I'm at it. Well, and it's different now. It's different now because of the internet. But back fucking 15 years ago, when you met a cunt who said, oh, I don't have a TV. Oh. Oh. No. I don't. Not truly oh, one of the worst people out there. I like to sit at home and I don't have a television. I had a cunt of a friend like that. I had to tell him about 9 11. <laughs> I had to fucking. I had to ring the fucker up and tell him about 9 11 because he didn't have a fucking TV. TV is the greatest invention that our people have ever invented. I don't care if you want to include water in that list yep. or other inventions, but TV's number one. I bet those people aren't feeling so smug now that coronavirus happened Any, sitting at home Anybody no who calls TV the idiot box or say you're rotting your brain with your TV, I, TV has made me money, has made me friends, has fucking made me successful. I will not hear a bad word about TV <laughs> or alcohol. <laughs> Okay. My two best friends. The, the two, the two of them together have got me through a lot of hard times. I'm a big fan of both of them. Now, I, I won't always speak highly of cocaine. I think cocaine has a lot of downside. Yeah. But TV, TV <laughs> and alcohol, winners. Carry on for us. It's just like you're special. You're ranting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Side effects. Uh, with increased blood alcohol concentration, slowed reflexes and reaction times, slurred speech. Memory trouble, blackouts and memory loss, nausea and vomiting. You forgot that one. Oh, yeah. Loss of physical coordination, passing out, and blood pressure, heartbeat, breathing changes. So there you go. 0.2%. Uh, 0.02% is the lowest level of blood alcohol concentration. 0 0.05 uh, is when you start to become, uh, your uh, behavior becomes exaggerated. You were right, though. You, oh, you were right, and then you were wrong. You First, you said 0.3%. Uh, um, but would you be when you the, die, and then you said ten percent. You did a fake out on me. I went point three percent. You went. Rah, rah, rah. I know, but I always answer this. I go, okay. I'm writing notes down, and sometimes you like miss here, like take my little grunts for. I would, I would hate to date you. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would hate for you to date me too. So. <laughs> yeah. You gotta learn his but, grunts. But it'd be an all good thing. Like I love you, Forrest. Yeah, really. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Um, I don't know. We can ask Bianca. I think I, I'm pretty. Her name's Bianca. Stop calling her Bianca. It's, it's Bianca. Bianca. I know. I'm being a dickhead. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, cr effect. you crush this section. Does food affect how quickly you get drunk? And what about bubbly alcohol? So it's like, yeah, you eating a large meal before you drink slows down the effects of alcohol because you eat combined alcohol and Food stays longer in the stomach, like the alcohol doesn't go straight to your bloodstream. And then fizzy alcohol will make you feel the effects of alcohol more quickly as the bubbles increase the pressure in your stomach, forcing alcohol into your bloodstream faster. Yeah, so a, wow. mix, a mixed drink with the mixer as a carbonated beverage will yeah. actually get into your bloodstream faster than a straight shot. Hey. Ooh. 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 Kelly coming with the facts. Facts, right. facts, 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 um, facts, 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 facts. Kelly's got them. Facts. 
<laughs> do women get drunker faster than men? Uh, I thought that was actually a myth, but it, the, I, I read many different articles that said it is true, and this is because men tend, Thank to, have, God. tend to have more. <laughs> they tend to have more muscle tissue than women, and then muscle has uh, more water than fat, so alcohol will be diluted more in a person with more muscle tissue, and also. Uh, women are also thought to have less of the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase. I'm not saying it right, which breaks down alcohol, so they don't have enough. Like that's the that's why you get drunk. We talked about earlier when you don't have enough of this enzyme uh, when it, or when it's overworked, See, then the alcohol is just going. Into and the it's not just alcohol that that makes fat. women get angrier than men quicker. And I'm going to mm-hmm. stop this conversation. But yeah, right all now. right. Sure. I was shooting daggers at you with my eyes. <laughs> I know. Kelly got upset with me. I was very Calm upset. down, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm surprised you remember my fast name. Thank you. Thank you, you. Do you need it another It feels beer, like Jen? I'm respected. Hey, give me another beer. Hey, get around the drum. Give, give, me what give what I want, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said there was 2 million alcohol-related deaths a year in the U.S. Yeah. And then you said there's 2.1 million in the whole world. I got, I got, I got one. We of, do a lot of damage. I got, I got one of them right. Um, no, nope, you right. got both no. of them wrong. Um, it's hard, it, isn't it? Estimated that 88,000 people die annually from alcohol-related deaths in the U.S., which is less than the coronavirus. <laughs> yep. And that's only ones that are reported. Ah, topical. Um, <laughs> So it is the third leading preventable cause of death in the I, United States. I, I want to say we recorded this four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. we don't know the sets. We don't know the stats. Um, yeah. Alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of death in the United States. The first is tobacco, and the second is poor diet and physical inactivity. And I've nailed all, all three. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and the world. You hit the trifecta if, of preventable. If, if, you, death. if you add lobster rolls into those stats, I'm <laughs> fucked. Yeah. In the world, there are 3.3 million deaths. Right. So it says five point nine percent of all deaths are believed to be due to alcohol each year in the world. So I guess that's you know it, that's like that, I, d- that and, counts like drunk driving accidents. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. All yeah. That yeah but I yeah. think that's a shady statistic because there, there could be uh, alcoholism could lead to diabetes, could lead to all this, could lead to uh, several things that kill you later on in life. Like no one ever went, oh, he died of blah blah blah. Thank God the alcohol saved him. So you're saying that the number is estimated to be low? I don't know. Well, here's the next question. Does alcohol have, have any health problem benefits? You said no grapes. That's basically, I'm cliff noting what you the said. Lieutenants. <laughs> um, actually, Antioxidants. There are some health benefits. I really like this. I'm just going to read exactly what this says because it's very funny. It says, drinking small quantities of alcohol, less than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men, is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and early death. Drinking more than this amount, however, increases the risk of heart disease, <laughs> diabetes, heart, who, who high blood pressure, and stroke. Who can only have one drink a but day? It, but it's like it's right. It's like of course it's like this thing that yeah. people enjoy doing. They're like, drink two and you'll be good. If you drink three, you're fucked. <laughs> let's like, be honest though, for the health benefits. Let's be honest. The world's population is seven billion people. It's it would be about four billion without alcohol. Like yeah. alcohol is doing a lot of heavy lifting on people having sex. Well, I don't know. Mormons have a lot of kids. They don't drink. Uh, yeah, but they're bored because yeah, they don't drink. Uh, they don't have the good kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. jo- John Lennon was never produced because his parents were sober. You know what I mean? Like, like the fun fucking rock and roll kids were all come from. <clears throat> now, you asked me, to, when we knew we were going to do this, you asked me to look this up about which countries drink the most. This is hard to actually it, nail down. I didn't even ask you this question. Right? Okay. Oh, uh, but, ask, ask me now. Ask me now. Well, there's not, there's, the stats are all over the place is the problem, right? So um, I have something that's like from 2016 that has alcohol consumption liters per year per, you know, per capita. And it says ages 15 plus for all of these. Okay, no more. Okay, so I started drinking. I know I've had problems with the drink and all that. Stuff. I started drinking at 14. Yeah, right? When 13. I started drinking heavy drinking, right? Heavy drinking was parties at 14. And it's funny because my mother was super strict with me as a child. And, you know, I'll tell you a funny story about my mum, just a quick one, right? So my mother, if you watch the special, passed away a, a bit over a year ago, right? Uh, my mother, okay, so what happened was whenever I someone said something nasty, there was, there was a comment that was so nasty about me on the internet. It was literally like, I hope your child dies. Like it was that Jesus. level of you're a piece of shit. I hope your child dies. And I thought, well, obviously I'm going to block this human being. And then the comment had one like on it. And I thought, well, I'm going to block that as well. Right. And the one like was my mother. <laughs> 
My mother thought she saw the comment and she thought, I'll flag that. So she said, all, all, <laughs> the, report all the nasty comments about me had a heart from my mother underneath. <laughs> I thought, these people must have felt very empowered yeah. going, like, oh, oh, she well, fucking hates him too. <laughs> oh, even his mother, like, now, now, so my mother passed away, uh, you know, God rest her soul or whatever super being you believe in. Right now, now, my mother passed away. She has a, a Instagram account that's just sitting there dormant. And, and Facebook. Uh, Insta- oh, oh, I thought you meant the Facebook page. No, no, she, oh, no uh, the Facebook page is yeah, another one. Yeah. I'll tell you that story later. Okay, so so my mother has an Instagram account. Now, in the last week, my mother has started liking my photos again. It's been very fucking creepy. Oh, no. Well, who's... Because my father's inherited her phone, <laughs> and then he's gotten onto the account. He's had my niece show him how to use the account. Oh my and so my mum started liking my photos again, and then you get a little bit of hope, like, oh, maybe everything's okay. <laughs> right? Now, I really think it's because my dad wants to perv on Instagram models, and he doesn't know how to work the internet, and Probably. this is the closest he can get to porn. Uh, that's so, easy. I'm just liking your photos. Yeah. And then he like, search. So Soon that entire <laughs> account will just be him and Brad, Pitt, Brad Pitt's Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so my dad started like. Now the, the 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 Facebook story is funny because what happened and tell me if I should stop talking because I'm drunk. But what happened was my mother typed into Facebook fans of Jim Jeffries. Now this account still count uh, exists if you want to log on and you want to join in, right? My mother went fans of Jim Jeffries because she was constantly looking at my career online, which is very sweet, right? And she 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 thought she was hitting a join button, but she hit a create button, mm, so boy. she created. Her own page, which was called Fans of Jim Jeffries. And then she got lost within the page on Facebook <laughs> where she started typing like, is anyone here? I don't know how to get out. <laughs> that is my favorite when, when older people join a group, like the podcast group, for instance, and they're like, S- can you please like delete me from this group. I'm like, delete your fucking side. And I, I have a lot of fun just letting them. Yeah. Sit they there can't, they can't help with the old people. They'll be dead soon. Yeah. That's a good point. All right. <laughs> um, and so the top countries, is that funny? So <laughs> I, I, know, I, don't know. I know that you're listening to me right now being insecure. Was that, was that, was that, was that, was that yeah. funny? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Love thanks, me. Jack. I pay you, Jack. Everybody the other people that don't pay in this no. room. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jack, Jack just turned 25. Everyone. Yeah, happy Jack birthday, Jack. Jack just turned 25. Uh, That's and, why we're and, doing alcohol. And his shirt turned 70. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Jack, stand up in front of the camera so people can see it. For those of you listening at home, yeah, Jack yeah. is wearing... Uh, I don't know something from the Gabrielle Iglesias collection. No, 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 Jack, I'm pretty sure. Jack, like, Jack, oh, we love Gabriel Iglesias. Well, I like him yeah. too, but this, it's like this it's is like, the Jimmy Buffett yeah. collection. Oh, okay. Jack got that shirt because he ate a fucking twenty pound steak at Margaritaville. Yep, <laughs> that was the first stop when we went, when we went to Vegas for your last show. Jack's like, "Can we do lunch at Margaritaville?" I'm like, "Fuck, Jack Kelly, hell. Justin Martindale, the Margaritaville." Uh, it's funny because because my my grand my my grand my, my father is trying to set Jack up with my niece. Like, oh, like my wow. niece. In Australia? Yeah, Sammy, who's a lovely girl. She's no, she's st- great. Yeah, I mean, she's but- a very sweet girl. She's starting to be a nurse. And, and my dad went, oh, I've got a good fella for you in America. <laughs> I've got a good bloke. He comes from Coca Cola money. <laughs> he, 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 wears, he wears a shirt like Jimmy Buffett, like no one's business. <laughs> you could do a lot worse than this fella. I love that those are the two selling points Coke money, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, Buffett shirt. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, what's going to happen, Jack, is you're going to. Find out very soon that my mum's going to start liking your photo. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of different lists here and stuff. I can just go based on what um, was from the World Health Organization. Ooh, controversial. Uh, 2016, <laughs> total alcohol consumption per capita, age 15 plus. I'm going to say Britain's number one. Binge, um, they call it binge Britain. Britain binge drinks worse than any country I've ever lived in. And I've lived in Australia. This is per capita, I be- though. I believe so, Australia know. drinks more than America. I believe Britain drinks more than Australia. I think it goes Britain, Australia, Canada, America, Germany. That's my order. So i got a couple different lists here, but I'll, I'll read off this one. It says World Health Organization uh, data from 2016. Age is 15 plus. Um for developed nations. Number one is the Czech Republic. Right. 14.1 liters per year per person consumed. This is per capita. Um, and then Australia is number two. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Then yeah, Portugal, baby. Slovakia, Hungary, then the UK, Finland, France, Poland, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Ireland, and so on. The US is down list of 24. 
It's not as, I, 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 be I can't higher. believe that Australia beats the UK. I think if Australia legalizes it's per capita, though, I think if Australia legalizes weed, then our stats will drop. But at the moment, we're okay. Part of the reason why Australia is so high is because a gram of cocaine costs three hundred and fifty dollars. We're over here. I've been told it costs <laughs> it costs it costs fifty dollars. Right. So so you know what I mean. Like Australia, because we're so far away. We can only have legal drugs, and the most legal drug of them all is alcohol. So, and who drinks the least? I'm going to say the Japanese. No, this is easy. Should have gotten this. It's all the I countries where it's. Oh, Saudi, Ara- Saudi Arabia, Saudi yeah. Arabia, Libya, Pakistan, Kuwait, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, come around. It's like all the, the countries where it would be illegal, they, and they even still says 0.1 percent. So, and what am I saying? Out. What am I saying? What am I saying? People who don't drink. Women have no rights in those countries, right? Women have no rights. Maybe if they involved a bit of alcohol, things could free up a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so... Put it out there. Fact. What, so what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start drinking some more. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, charge it. We got a Kelly list here Bear. of all these different Kelly, liquors. I must be drunk. I just said Kelly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it wasn't Brian, so... I've never had a nickname for you ever. I mean, hey, Kelly Bear. <laughs> Jim, you have this piece of paper? This piece of paper? Uh, I got a bit okay. of paper. Got a bit so of these paper. are all of the liquors and yeah. beers and wine, everything that's on this table in front of you in these mini solo cups. Okay, so we have about 20, 30 different yeah. things to drink. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to... I gonna, forgot I'm, we were doing this. I'm going <laughs> to... I want to see if you can, if you can, de- and we'll talk about your answers to all the different liquors as we're doing them, but I want to see if you can tell what you're drinking uh, just without us telling you what it is. So I'm going to say, say a number to Jack and you're going to, right, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull my earphones off and plug my ears. So that Jack can set down the no, microphone. No, no, no. They're going to turn down your headphones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, no, this, this is just the type of alcohol. I, I don't have to tell. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you're taking the headphones off. And plug the... Um, all right. Uh, Jack, get him. Uh, the first one we're going to do is number seven. Number seven. You're not listening. Jim, Jim, this is Bacardi. 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 Number seven. Am I allowed to know the type of alcohol? They're both whispering, Gilly. Bacardi. Am I, am I allowed to know the type of alcohol? Am no, I, you got to tell no. us what type of alcohol it is. Yep. That's good. That's good. tequila. Okay. <laughs> that is rum. <laughs> that was wrong? Yeah, rum. Yeah, wrong, 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 and rum. Rum. wrong and rum. That was Bacardi rum. Oh, yeah, that you was were Bacardi, right yeah. about rum. Rum is sugar based, spring sugar cane. West Indies, it is very popular in the West Indies because there's a lot of sugar cane grown there and sugar cane. That's grade. white rum. That's Bacardi. Yeah, we just said that. <laughs> <laughs> did you drink the Nailed whole thing, it. by the way? <laughs> yeah, I, I did drink the whole he thing. He took a shot of it. Okay. Um, next. Okay. <laughs> the next one is number six. <laughs> is it? Are his headphones down? Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Sailor Jerry rum. You got to say the type. Rum. Okay. What do you got there? That was um. Ooh, crushy. Oh god. Yeah. What kind um, of what kind of alcohol was that? That was a whiskey based alcohol. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was that was uh bourbon. That was rum again. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was uh what's it Sailor Jerry. Mm-hmm. One of your best problems. Uh, you can have. Sailor Jerry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the declines already. Do you think you're going to get any of these right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do now, uh, we're going to try different uh, vodkas. Is, do we just say vodka is your favorite liquor? Vodka is the, 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 the drink of champions. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, is it your favorite liquor, vodka? Well, he's a uh, champion. Vodka is the one that I buy the most, yeah. Okay. Because it's the easiest um, to mix in with other things. But do you think you could tell the difference between a good and a bad vodka? I do. Okay. Um, would you consider... Okay, here's the type of vodkas that we have. We have Belvedere, Elk Rider, Smirnoff, Ciroc, Platinum 7X, <laughs> Wheatley's Tito's. What's uh, Wheatley? Well, no what's idea. Platinum 7X? Yeah. You know what that is. <laughs> Platinum Scott- 7X? That's seven times... The it's a good vodka. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you say is a good one here? Belvedere is a good one. On that list, I'm going to say Belvedere. Ciroc. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So Belvedere. T- Tito's is a good. Tito's. You know what I'll tell you wrong with Tito's. They're, made, they're made always in the US. they're always bigging themselves up. They go handmade vodka. They're all handmade. 
Stop telling me there's a special machine that gets the vo- the potatoes out of the ground and fucking does it. They're all handmade. I Go think f- there are machines I, that do that. I would, yeah. I would guess yeah, that yeah, there yeah, are yeah, machines yeah. that do Farming makes, equipment that'll that, do that. Yeah. And that yeah. um, Jim, so do you think you could tell the difference between Tito's and Wheatley? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, first. Okay, so the numbers we need are 21 and 22. All right. All right, let's okay. do 21 first. This is, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can, can you hear? Can you hear us, Jim? I got it now. Okay. All right. So, what you do? You whisper. You're better at whispering. Twenty one is Wheatley. This is like this ASMR. Is you know, like when those <laughs> people like that, you get you can listen to them brush you their just hair. Say afterwards. Okay. I can no. hear myself. No, the, the people at home want to know. What we we're can doing. also force Luis to throw. Well, I guess if you're only listening, you uh, can't see. Yeah, they're only listening. I tell you what. Are we gonna do wine. Yeah, but yep. twenty one first. 21. Is, I have a you, lot of opinions on wine. Okay, we only we only have one wine. So. And another thing. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't know me. You, you, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. The problem with wine is, wine is, I'm not a wine drinker. It's like these people, these people who buy expensive wine. Women drink more wine than men. I don't know if that's a stat, but that's, I feel like it's a thing. Sounds right. Anecdotally, feels like that's it's a true. thing. But men are always the ones sniffing the cork and all that type of stuff. Fuck off, you condescending little fuck. <laughs> okay. So women look- women do it so they can sleep with people like me. And men <laughs> and men do it just to be dickheads. So all right, vodka. so drink the one in your left hand 21, first. 21. 21. So this is either going to be Wheatley or Tito's. Try that. And then try number 22. It's either Wheatley or Tito's. And is this vodka? <laughs> oh, don't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There you go, that, and that's twenty two. What? Uh, which one is Tito's? Twenty one or 22? twenty two? Twenty one is the better one. Yep. And so that's Tito's. Yeah. That is wrong. That is Wheatley. That's a brand we've never heard of. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to have Tito's as a sponsor. <laughs> but Wheatley, give us a call. Wheatley, we, we love, love you. Wheatley. You fucking uh, kidding me. Jack, Jack, now you have to do it. Sit here. Come and sit here. Come and sit. Why does he have lap. to sit there? Hey, sit, <laughs> come on, sit on my lap. <laughs> sit on my, sit on my lap. Now, right. Jack. Jack, it's your birthday. You mm. taste them. I'm not going to tell you. Close your eyes. Mm. Corona. <laughs> now, you tell me which one's better. Now, taste that one. Don't open your eyes. All right. You remember what that one is? Oh, yeah, I got it. Now, I taste that it. one. Which one is better? <laughs> Just pick one. Uh, second one. That's Tito's. Woo! Jack Jack's got a better palate than you. More oh, refined. Yeah, yeah. Jack's got a more Tito's refined give palate. You my email. Okay. <laughs> um, tequila. Tito's is our unsolicited sponsor. <laughs> do you want to go tequila, whiskey, gin next? Which one I do you want? I don't give a fuck. Okay, we'll go whiskey. <laughs> this, this will bring us to what is the difference between whiskey, bourbon, and scotch? So we're we're gonna do um, get the two whiskeys out there right there. We've got if you can hold up those bottles too. We've got Jack Daniels. I've already embarrassed myself. And we've got Evan. <laughs> what's the other one called? Evan Williams. They look the exact same. Like yeah. they clearly were like. They're Evan not Williams, even trying. Evan Williams was like, "Yeah, hey, what are you talking about? We're not the same bottle." Like this, showing the yeah, One's intolerable. One's intolerant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've drank plenty of, of of Jack Daniels before. I don't yeah. know if you've had Evan Williams before. So we're gonna Jack need, Daniels, my jam. Man. We're gonna need number fourteen and ten. Okay. And why oh, we're no, doing? I oh, know this. I've drank enough Jack Daniels to uh, have enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um. So, which one did you drink first? What number? Number fourteen. Okay. Then give it another step of number uh, ten there. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, we should have brought a blood alcohol. Oh, like a, we should have brought a breathalyzer. Yeah. Fuck. But number fourteen went down easier. Yeah. I don't know. If that means it's right. We're gonna say number fourteen is Jack Daniels. Nice. That's correct. You got one right. Great now, work. blow in the Jack's face, and he'll tell you how drunk you are. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Coronavirus. Um, uh, can I have a jewel, please? <laughs> okay, so the, the, you, so the, when, when you were talking about whiskey, scotch, and bourbon, you said whiskey is made with barley, and it's American. Scotch is from Scotland. You didn't tell me it was made from. And bourbon is uh, sweet whiskey with sugar in Tennessee. Yeah. So, And that was correct, right? Um, no. Mm. You, were, you had them mixed up. Yeah. Um, so the whiskey is uh, so here you go. Um, bourbon whiskey or bourbon is primarily primarily made from corn mash right. produced in the United States because we make good corn. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweeter because we use corn syrup. That's the American way. Yep. And, and it must be made from grain mash that is at least fifty one percent corn and aged in new charred oak containers. 
There's no minimum age for bourbon whiskey to be aged, uh, so, but any variety aged less than four years must have the age stated Jack, on the label. I, I just want to hold off something. For all these people out here who think I'm a, <laughs> who think I'm a pussy, Jack just offered me water, and what did I, I? I gave you go fuck yourself eyes, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Go yeah. fuck yourself, Jack. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking drink he's, your he's water. He's worried about the puddle that your brain's in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. It's yeah. dehydrated. Yeah. It's turning into a raisin. But yeah, just pour I, it on his head. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't cross my legs this way because it feels good on my vagina, Jack. <laughs> you have a vagina? That's a joke. Ah, okay. Shut up. Yeah, that was a joke too. <laughs> <laughs> Scotch whiskey is made from barley, though. So you got that. And it's made, it is malted barley, and it can only pr uh, bear the name if it's produced in Scotland. But whiskey, but, but Scotch and bourbon are both whiskeys. So whiskey is kind of like in the whole realm of that. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> All right, let's try beer now. Let's go. Uh... All right, I know right, beer. Okay. Beer, so, beer, beer, so beer, got, beer, beer. So you said beer. There's. There's uh, is it Guinness. I love a bit of Guinness. You right? said you got that right with the beer. You 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 pulled it out of your ass. You said water and bar um hops, but then you threw in barley and yeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crushed that one. Yeah, crushed it. And you also put love and passion, which is probably true, mm. unless you're making it in your and bathtub. And some of them, not Keystone. Yeah, yeah. Not so there's different types of beers. There's like a lager, a pilsner, IPA, a stout. Hey, just just to all my fans, I want you to know that these are regular sized bottles, but I'm a giant. <laughs> I literally said that yesterday yeah. at Bevmo. I go, let's get the little bottles and Jim can talk about how he's a giant. There's very few joys in this life than holding a little <laughs> tiny bottle and acting like you're a giant. Okay, so there's so there's crappy beer. Mm -hmm. There's IPA, just yeah. like regular one, yeah. which is an India pale ale. And then there's a lager and a stout we have here. Do you think you can tell the difference between yeah. them? Yeah. Okay, give him number 30 first. Tell me if this is... College beer, as we're calling it, IPA, lager, or stout. That's an, like an IPA. That is not. That is Stone Tropic of Thunder. No, uh, but it's like a, it's like a boutique beer. Yeah, it's like a boutiquey beer. You mean like a craft? A craft beer. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, but still, the three I, out of the four of them are craft beers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> IPA, lager, and stout. Everyone's are all got a little bit of thing. No, I know beers. That's like a, a fancy, fancy like. Oh, this one comes from blah blah blah, and you got to try this out you know, from the Tropic of Thunder. Every time you're in fucking Milwaukee, they give you a shit beer, and then they fucking <laughs> give me the regular beer. Okay, give them yeah. a number thirty-two. Thirty-two. No, no, not 32. thirty-two. Yeah, yeah, thirty-two is what we're gonna go. Thirty-two. Yeah. 32. Jack, the numbers yeah. the numbers are written on it. Yeah, you wrote them. You wrote the numbers. What kind of beer is this? That's a fucking still vodka. No, we'll see what it is. We stopped whispering at home. What is He has his headphones on. It's a white cloud. <laughs> That's not a beer. It's like fucking sugar water. <laughs> it's a cherry white cloud. It's a white cloud. You got that but one you right. You finished that. We, we tried to throw that. The, 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 okay. Um... What other beer? Give him the 29 and see if you can tell what this is. Is this an IPA or a stout? I'll make it easy. These have a strong plastic aftertaste yeah. to them based on the <laughs> shot glass. That's an IPA. All right. You got that one. Nice. All right. All right. Now, tequila. You said you got that me, right, too. Give me the stout. I want a bit of stout. Yeah. Right. You want stout? Okay. This is Yeti 31. Imperial Stout. Mm. Mm. Oh, I have a bit of stout. Okay. I a bit um, of stout. Tequila, you said, was comes from the agave plant, which is correct. Mezcal is also made from the agave. You said middle of Mexico. I mean, Jalisco. Sort of, yeah. It's a, Jalisco is, is the state that all tequila has to be produced in. Just for order to be called tequila. That. I don't know about that. No, it's true. <laughs> mezcal can actually be produced in other regions of Mexico and still be called mezcal, but it's still specific to certain regions. And you are right, it has a smokier flavor. I do not like mezcal. For yeah. some reason, when I drink it, my taste buds perceive it as like a medical taste, like how I how I envision like plastic band aids would taste. That's what mezcal tastes uh, like to me. That's what they're gonna give you when you give birth. <laughs> <laughs> the medical... I am not going to be giving birth. Okay, no so kids, one and you. two are tequilas. One uh, of these. Is, uh, uh, one uh, of uh, the... uh, if I have enough of these shots, Kelly. <laughs> one, one of these. Kelly Bear. One, one of these is. Kelly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Kelly Bear. Let me put a baby inside you. <laughs> uh, what? Funny because it's true. <laughs> one of these two is uh, a good tequila, and one is a shitty one. So drink number one first. What do you think about that? Tell them what that is, Kelly. I don't know. Number one. Yeah. I didn't hear that. You didn't hear? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And then number, number two, two it, is Jose Cuervo Gold. Yummy. Do you guys like this? <laughs> brushing I'm going to say they're both they're both fine. Ah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to say number one was the better tequila. Yes. That's Casamigos, which is definitely a better tequila. My it was a lot smoother. The which, other one had more of a you, kick of it, but number one was a better tequila. So do you know who owns Casamigos or is one of the owners? Uh, George Clooney. There you go, which leads me to our next thing. We have a list of celebrities that uh, there's a lot of celebrities that have ownership or branding of, of liquors. Too many yeah, celebrities. Way too many. <laughs> Pitbull has a vodka. Yep. It's called Voli 305. Dale! And it's a vodka made in Miami, so it can't be good yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, at this stage, I would like to advertise, give away that one, vodka! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should make that. Oh, yeah, you could make New it. New merch idea. There's no problem with making that, yeah. I mean, well, there's a problem. We don't have a distillery. But uh, other than that, we well, got to- Of course, smearing off into tiny bottles and sell them yeah. on the internet. So Pitbull's, uh, Pitbull's vodka is called Voli 305, and it's said to be distilled 17 times and filtered through a freeze filter, a gravity filter, a coconut filter, and maybe a filter. Oh, this is a joke made of reflective sunglasses. Yeah, right. he's, he's, um, he's from fucking Florida. He, he, he gets refined over bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bush has a whiskey. Hey. Yeah. It's called <laughs> Grab <on> the Pussy. <laughs> yeah. The least powerful member of the Bush family is co-founding the world's most incomprehensible whiskey company. It's called Sun Beach Whiskey. It's unaged, crystal clear whiskey. It's come in two flavors, island coconut and bonfire cinnamon. Jesus Disgusting. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is a list. Bonfire yeah. cinnamon? Yeah. Chaz Palmateri has a vodka as well. Who's Chaz Palmateri? Uh, he's an actor. He was in um, a, a Bronx Tale. Hmm. He was like the gangster guy. Nope. Robert De Niro has a vodka. Bill Murray has a Slovenian vodka. Um, fifty cent, as we know, you know the 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 the, the one you like, the Crystal Head vodka. Uh, Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. They have it ranked low on the list here. They say I that I love it. I love they it. They say it's me number one vodka. They say it's. Skull. They say it's, I love the bottle. It's filtered through Herkimer diamonds. Why would that be good? I don't know. So but the, poured the, over diamonds. The, no, the, I'm telling you, it's the best. It's the best vodka I've ever had. It's the Crystal number skull. one ranked celebrity alcohol mm -hmm. is Marilyn Manson's Absinthe. Yeah, and we must try that. Couldn't find it yesterday. Couldn't find it at Bethel. Yeah. Shop. Talking, yeah, but yeah. we're gonna it, need to find it. It's that. called Mansynth. And uh it's uh he's it, We uh, can I, all drink it, try I, to suck our own I, dicks. I always like uh Jody Aria's uh, uh vodka swimming pool. <laughs> no, that's is that like Casey Anthony? Ah, fuck that joke up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. Okay, so I have a list of the ten most expensive liquors here. Um and feel free to grab another liquor and and and, and tell us what number it is and we'll, and, and see if you guess what it is. Liquor. Oh, here, I, here, here's one. Here, I got one. I got one for you. Um, you got to talk into the microphone. Just don't eat into the microphone. Give him number... Um, 13. Uh, yeah, yeah, 13. That was the one. Thank you. That was the one I was looking for. Now, this is... It's probably good Technically a, a liqueur, I think. Yeah, you probably actually would be good with yeah. a pretzel. Give it a sniff. Jim's sniffing it. It's a smelly vodka. <laughs> it's got a sweetness to it. Yeah. Can you hear now? Oh, uh, you can whisper it. Kelly, what is it? This is called Screwball Peanut Butter yeah, you should do ASMR for real. Thank you. That's Southern Comfort. No, wow. no, it's a it's a peanut butter whiskey called Screwball. It was the same shit. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Southern Comfort, you are you, you are pretty close though because Southern Comfort does have a lot of fruits flavor and stuff like that. All right, so most expensive li bottles of liquor in the world. What do you think the number one is? How expensive is it? And do you know what it's called? It'd be a, it'd be a whiskey. I'll give you a hint. It's a vodka. It'd be a vodka. <laughs> <laughs> And the most expensive vodka would be, well, I don't know, it'd be is, some pretentious cunt. It'd be it'd be four hundred thousand dollars a bottle. It is three point seven million dollars a bottle. Uh, it is it is. This is why billionaires shouldn't exist. It's in, it's encrusted with three thousand diamonds on the bottle. It's like just buy some jewelry. <laughs> I know. I like the the thought that you would have this really expensive bottle in your house that you couldn't wear anywhere or do anything with. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? So now, and then they have another one. There's a tequila at three and a half million that has diamonds. So it's all these ones have fucking diamonds in it shit, but there is a bottle of wine that, that's, this is just a regular bottle of wine. I got everyone. Uh, everyone. Yeah. Piss break. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, just guess the bottle of wine before your piss break. Hold on. Cause this will be, we'll stop there. Get back on, put the headphones on. Four million. No, no, no. This is, it's called, it's an 1811 Chateau de Wiquim. <laughs> the slow car. What is the price? Million, five million. It was given He's a perfect a score out of Five million. <laughs> He's a sloth. It's 130,000. <laughs> ah, 
I could get that. If you guys want to, <laughs> if you guys want to watch this extended footage, we'll put it on yeah, Patreon. This would be a good week to watch us on YouTube. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. If you're listening subs- to this episode, go watch this on YouTube. It's much better. By all means, subscribe to us uh, on our on our. <laughs> Actually, audio this would be a good time. Let's talk about. Oh yeah, okay. That. So yeah, here we don't have any ads this week, but I, I keep forgetting to tell you this, guys. If you're already listening to our podcast, great. If you haven't subscribed and you're listening, please subscribe. Go in and rate it. Write a comment. You know, get the name of the podcast wrong if you're going to write a wrong <laughs> comment or something like that. Um, you know, we're always down for you to, to uh, also our Instagram page is IDKAT. You said ID Cat Podcast. ID Cat Podcast. Uh, we uh, have all, we have clips from, uh, oh, so I'm supposed to be looking in there. I was looking at it. We have clips from uh, each week on there. Uh, so subscribe to that. And then if you have any, like a lot of times we'll share stories and stuff that people have. We've done that, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just talking on my ass. Yeah. If you post us on your social media, we'll share the stories of you listening. But also this week, we're going to do oh, something yeah. different. So if you look at this, if you share a clip from this week's episode uh-huh. on your social media, tag us, you'll be entered to win. Jim will sign one of these beach ball things. Yeah. So three people. And he won't wash it. We'll send, we'll send we'll these send out to three it, yeah. people. You can fucking sell it on eBay. Nobody gives a shit. But There'll be a little bit of beer like that left yeah. in it too. We'll ship it. We'll <laughs> put it in the box. A little bit of backwash. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be great. But and yeah. we're going to slow. We're going to snail mail it. So. No, we're still recording. We were like, yeah. we, we were like, uh, we were, uh, we were. Okay. Uh, we're still recording, Jim. Yeah, yeah. We, we were promoting stuff, so okay. Um, and he's back. So let's give you one more liquor, and then we'll start wrapping this up. I think we're good here. What? What is he? Has he not? Oh, here you go. Here's one you should enjoy. Uh, number twenty six. Give that to Jim there, Jack. Number twenty six. This is a oh, liqueur. This is easy. Yeah, you should get this one. No problem. No problems. Twenty six. Yeah. There you go. This is one that uh, you should definitely get sick off of. You drink too much. It's Bible. Nope. Close. Goldschlager. It's got the Close. cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon yeah. shit. Yeah, but it's yeah. got the little gold flakes in there. You didn't see them? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, Jack. Get him uh, number 35. So wash that down. Number 35 is one of our only wines that we oh, have yeah. here. It's from a great vineyard called Barefoot. Now, if you know anything about Barefoot, what is it? About $3 a bottle? Uh, that white, was about eight dollars. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a white wine. I don't drink wine. It's a white wine. Bare, yeah. Barefoot's a Moscato. shitty wine, right? Yeah. I don't well, dr- Barefoot's definitely like the the value brand, um, yeah. but it also you remember the the awards Forest. Oh yeah, it won 2016 at the Indianapolis International Wine Festival. <laughs> right. Right. Award. No, so you know no, it's pretty it's, good. It's called Barefoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even 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 when you mix it with something, it's just called Barefoot and Pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, grab a drink, whatever you want, Jim. We'll tell you whatever. We're going to wrap this up. So uh, get, Just give me a fun one, Jack. Um, uh, <laughs> they're all fun. fun oh, one. wait, 15 is the gold bar. Give him that one. Oh, yeah, gold bar. Number 15, gold 25. bar whiskey. 25 is Old Smoky Moonshine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that was a moonshine? <laughs> oh, Jesus, uh. Guys, watch this episode uh, on YouTube. Do not fuck this um, up. So I have a couple of fun facts, dinner party facts that I, <laughs> that I tried oh to find. Oh, my God. Um, Give it back to me, Jack. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want it again. I'm joking. Here's, here, here's the two. Oh, 15. 15 yeah, no, the gold, gold is. The gold uh, one is, gold yeah, bar, gold yeah. bar. Looks, it looks like a gold bar. There it is right there. Um, <laughs> you, you, you sure you want to have a barbecue at your house yeah. after this? <laughs> All right, so our dinner party, party facts. The, one of the facts that I thought was interesting is during Prohibition, the U.S. government poisoned alcohol to discourage alcoholism, <laughs> killing as many as 10,000 people. Yeah, like Jim's dead. Yeah. <laughs> we may have poisoned Jim. <laughs> what have we done <laughs> okay, to this Jim? beautiful home? Are you okay, Jim? You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's another dinner party fact. The melody... <laughs> That Francis Scott Key assigned to accompany the lyrics of the Star Spangled Banner was a popular English drinking song called To Ancreon in Heaven. Did you know that? Yep. Oh, uh, you sure, did? Oh, sure. Well, so I, that, I sent that to you. This is, uh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was in one of the things I sent. Here's the drinking song. Sing along, Jim. It sounds like a... Uh, they're in drinking and fun. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's a drinking song. Oh, but dead. wait, so what's based off of this? The, the Star Spangled Banner? Banner. It doesn't even sound like the Star Spangled Banner. Listen to it. Listen. 
stars were there, there. Uh, wow. and the stars were so still that's, there. That's how you got. That's how you got the, the national rock. anthem. That's what he said. He took the same key. Yeah, yeah there you go. Hear it. Got Dave drunk in the day, in the day and we watched it. Oh, I am so wasted. I don't care if my wife's home. What if you, you don't care if your wife's home? <laughs> For the land of the week. What's going on? There you go. All right. I think that's it for the pod. I think we're good. Yeah, we're a top 100 podcast. <laughs> <laughs> number four in Australia. Uh, number four in Australia. Australia is the number one drinking nation in the world. If you don't make us number, number three, if you don't make us number three, I'll be very disappointed. The podcast, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Because okay. of the drinking episode. Oh, I <laughs> think they're, all, they're all drunk listening at home. They're going, ah, oh. and then, you know what Australians are doing right now? This is going, ah, oh, fucking American pussies. They don't know. And Jim's the only person who flies our flag or something. There you go. Oh. This is to prevent hangovers. That should work. Am I meant, am I meant to drink this? Yeah. I think you drink it before you drink, right? No, I think you drink it before you go to bed, which so, will be 15 <laughs> minutes from now for Jim. Their, their slogan is celebrate and feel great. I don't think you drink. We, do you drink it now? Oh, I I would I read the read directions. Read maybe maybe yeah, we shouldn't it, drink the whole bottle. It, um, what does it say? Let's see. Oh, good. No directions. <laughs> Perfect. I guess maybe just drink the whole bottle then. You yeah. think they should have directions because people can drive on that. No, is it? There you go. <laughs> I've, lo I've lost me funny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. Arkansas because that's right. <laughs> Intolerable. Intolerable. <laughs> All right. That's the podcast. You want to say goodbye, Jim? Oh, I'm completely sober. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're at a party. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them anything from this party. If you're at a party and, and someone disagrees with you and they make a good point, you just look at them and you say, well, I don't know about that. that is, that's not even it. And that's you walk it. away. That's good night, it. Australia. That's not it. Actually, Sorry. that's the best description he's uh, done so far. You get your own podcast, but you all fuck off. <laughs>